What's up guys? Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. So we gotta start worrying about Sherry a little bit and we'll be trying to save her. She's been affected by her own father which is pretty fucked up. Uh, we got a nap room log. The nap room? Well, where people go to go to nap, take a nap. And you, you got a log for that? <laughs> so what is this Toby Jackson well he, he was in there for like four hours he is at work or something oh no wait he was there if we we're looking at 24 hour uh, if, we're, if these times are logged in with 24 hour system and it seems to be the case that's his these are the this person's sleep schedules and he slept from like 3 40 a.m. to 7 30 and that's all I guess that <laughs> remember these uh, recent news about naughty dog working its employees so hard that they have to sleep at office I think we're looking at something similar here with umbrella and then the second guy the second Lady Sarah, she slept for just uh, a little bit above two hours, and as I assume that's it. Unless all of them are like working, if they are working night shifts, I guess that's rather lazy of them. I haven't finished that yet. But look at this; it's kind of crazy. Uh, Anthony White. Uh, I guess that's a new nap that was like unless it's talking about midnight I don't think so no I don't think so that's uh just a, that's really just a nap so we got people sleeping in this room like everywhere the last one was Wayne Lee and he never left he's still in there that's that's great. I guess we're gonna be meeting this way in Lee. So we will be exploring this whole lab section in the game. Sherry, oh, she's hurting really bad. She looks pretty good on, with the jacket, though. I mean, I would have thought that jacket would be too big for her. Don't worry, Sherry. I got this. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, but I got this. Let's take a look at what I got. So, a lot of ammo for... Well, not really a lot, to be honest with you. How about we load it up? Let's load every weapon. Just so we can be ready. Now, this is where we came from, isn't it? Authorized staff only. Yeah, this point. we can't go that way. Guests must refrain from entering. Wait a second. This is where we came from. This is. Oh yeah, we uh we got off the train here. Let's take a look at this area. Maybe there's actually something we can find. I mean, we didn't really physically explore this place because we kind of got here through a cutscene mm, I guess I guess not I guess not so if the door directly in front of me is inaccessible at this point where do I go pre-tell okay maybe it's this way haven't been through here yet okay this is definitely the right place it's getting instantly creepy. So you just know... You just know that this is the way to go when... The, for no reason, seemingly, that there's no light. I mean, we're in the underground lab. Of a very high-tech, very high-profile corporation. And you'd think they would be able to keep the lights on. Okay, oh no. who is it? Don't be too surprised. You see those skills? He's not alone. 
Okay, um... I'm gonna have to do this. Okay! Lady? You oh. Asshole. My bad shooting has returned. Shit. And the first guy is not totally dead. Okay. Hell is up with you. Oh god. These guys are always a little faster than I think possible. That's kind of be the problem. You would think they're really, really slow and 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 yes, they are in general, but like they, their uh, their speed is they can be unpredictable. Oh god. Okay, I've got their attention. I don't know if that's like really a good thing or not. Oh jeez. Oh! You see how fast they can be when they want to? Why am I do Okay, I guess she has my flash flashbang. And it's only just gone off. Is it me or are these guys like especially tenacious? Let me through here. Let's get some more ammo. Great. I know this may not be actually the most uh, optimal way of playing this game, but I still like to take out everybody. I mean, they're, they're, we never really have so much. So I'm hearing more than this guy though. Because there's a lot of backtracking in this game. I just never know like how many times you gotta go through one place. Okay, we just left that behind. Uh, and we gotta go back. There are like uh, some stuff in there that I wanna get. Oh my god. They have like the fastest, the last step. Shit. Yes, give me back my knife. Where are the stuff I need to get? Uh, this is a needle cartridges. Four of them. Okay. Ammo for the spark shot. These highly charged. Oh, the spark shot. I didn't bring it with me. If the spark shot is what I think it is. I think that's the thing we got from... Huh. Are you kidding me? This is just never going to end, is it? These guys are like here to stay. Oh, we can't get it. It's like right there. Oh, I gotta... Let's try to get to the... Let's try to get to the other room. Maybe it'll work. I, I don't know if it's gonna be that simple, but let's at least try it. Oh no, I don't think so. This is, uh, yeah. I think that needs level two clearance, clearance, and we only have level one. must refrain from So we have the level uh, clearance level for a common visitor to the company. And we need to be at thing level two. Maybe it's common staff. <sighs> oh. 
suppose someone was uh, making pancakes or, or something. Good. Got some spare ammo. And another knife. We're just running out of knives. We're running out of grenades, knives, flashbangs, just all the things that you need when you're uh, directly attacked by one of these things. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Let me just uh, keep a little distance. I think it's better if I am at a certain distance away. Apparently not. This guy has military attire. I straight up don't think hitting him anywhere other than the head would work at all. Okay. So, can we open this? Nope. God damn it. Do I, why do I get the feeling that we are not going to be seeing any more monsters that does not get up two or three times? I think this is the new norm now. Okay, this is the nap room. Apparently the nap room is open to visitors. I'm grateful for that. Maybe I can take a nap. Oh no, I, I can. I could, but Sherry might die because of it. So um, Wayne Lee is still in this room, as we found out earlier. I suspect we're going to be able to meet him. High voltage condenser for the spark shot. I really should have brought a spark shot. This is empty. And what do we have here? No, I don't think we have anything to use for it. Hey, I'd like to I like your chip. Oh, we got the uh, level 2 clearance. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. Combine it with a wristband. Oh, this place is creepy. Let me just get out of here. I, I have no interest in meeting Wayne Lee, by the way. Okay, where the hell am I? Um, cafeteria. Yes, we're back at the reception. Wow, this place just. Doctor Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East area. I think Doctor Lee is still napping. I say we leave him be. How are you doing, Sherry? I'm getting there. Don't you worry. Let's uh, manage the items for a bit. Um, you know what? Since how about we bring the spark shot with us? And uh, let's upgrade it immediately. It can also be re reloaded. And we got some uh, respectable firepower with us. The trouble is we might be taking too much. Mm, we need more we need to clear more space, so I'm sticking that. I don't know, do I need uh, two? Knives. Apparently, I do. I struggle with every enemy I meet, so I might as maybe I really do need two knives. That gives us three space. Oh, it's not optimal. I don't know what else can we can spare of these things. The problem is these. 
these rifles they take two spots each and that's really a luxury. Well, we'll just have to double back a few more times I suppose. Now with the level I can save the game again, okay, why not? The ability to save games as many times as you want is a wonderful feeling, I gotta say. Let's see how uh, where this uh, level 2 clearance is gonna bring us. Hank? Is that you, buddy? Special Forces Recordings. Alpha to Ghost, the target moving to the west area must be going to retrieve the G-Virus and antiviral agent. This is Ghost, understood, rendezvous at point W3. Roger. This is Alpha, arrived at the destination, understood, standby for target. This is Alpha, I've got eyes on the target, he's going to open the safe. Roger, awaiting for signal. Got eyes on the G-Virus, we're going in. Dr. Birkin, you come along with us quietly. So... Antiviral agents in the West area. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, I don't think Dr. Birkin came with them quietly. In fact, I'd wager that our good old Dr. Birkin got a little bit upset. The elevator is going to require a level 4, and we obviously don't have that. And that looks like a level 2. We just can't get there yet. Oh, but we can. <laughs> did we scan the wristband at all? It, d it didn't seem like we did. Alright, east area, here we go. The wh Where we are actually going in this west area, but... Apparently, we need to. We need a higher clearance for that. Oh, what are these moths? I don't want to find any moths. Hello there. Oh, there's a there's there's another box here. That's good. And a coffee cup. Oh no, gunpowder. Um, I'm gonna store the herbs here. Gunpowder, maybe come with me. Just maybe. Let's save again. <laughs> Just in case we die right now and we have to, I don't know, scan the wristbands two more times. Cause that sounds like a bother. Okay, we got two doors we can go through right now. Let's check for door number one. What, what was it called? I, I didn't get to see. And that's a pretty sight. Oh, he has what we need. He has the purple wristband. Oh, God. That's terrible. Uh, apparently this guy got smashed his face in by a flower. That's a uh, pretty way to go. What do we have here? Senior staff clearance required for computer access. Okay, apparently we can't access this. This clearance thing. So corporate. Okay, I, I guess this room is like just for show at this point. Can't really do anything above. Wait, but we can go this way. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's combine this with what we just got. Oh god. 
Oh, shit. I remember this part. This is... Son of a bitch. Just try to hit the... Gotta hit his dick, I guess. These little weak spots. I'm not sure he's completely down. Yeah, we are going to be fighting some plants, people. Like the thing. I mean, not the, th the the thing, the thing, the thing you're thinking about. That you're probably thinking about the '80s uh, John Carpenter movie, The Thing. I, I'm actually talking about the thing from another world, from the '50s. And and no, I'm not that old. I just watch some old movies sometimes. Oh, what, really? Dispersal cartridge. Let's check it out. It's empty. A cartridge for dispersing various solutions into the greenhouse is currently empty. Apparently. And we need to learn of a cold. So the thing from another world, that movie was like the thing, but instead of a shifting monster that alien life form that emulates other people it's about fighting the plant people and yes it it is a little weird but i do remember liking it i th uh well you're probably thinking we, we i don't know if i should take that i think i'd rather save the shit, shit. You know what? Screw that. It's in this room. A uh, herbicide synthesis. We gotta kill another plant. Like just like Resident Evil One, we deal we dealt with uh, Plant Forty Two. Oh, this is Plant Forty Three. That's awesome. I never knew that. Plant Forty Three herbicide uh, synthesis. Place an empty cartridge into the solution dispenser. Added the required amount of a UMB number 21. Huh. UMB 21. Is that like the same thing we did the last time? I, what, was the, what was the name? The Vigil? Was that UMB number 21? Or was that 20? And the third step is cool immediately. Well, we didn't... Jill didn't have the cool shit. Okay, so we gotta do that again. Uh, what is this? This thing is shut down. We gotta activate it. And okay, you we were a little deformed. You were supposed to look like that. Are you carrying a backpack or I don't know? Oh, we have gunpowder here? Where? Thank God for this map. I I really don't know how much stuff I'm uh, I'm going to miss if I if the map isn't so instructional. So I don't have other gunpowder right now. That's a little disappointing. We're running out of space a little bit. I'm gonna double back for a second just to clear out some space, if you don't mind. I'm gonna have to do that a few more times. Oh, that's just awesome. Hey. This is really testing my shooting ability, which, as you know, is... Maybe fire is better. Yeah, fire.
fire definitely works. I don't want to waste the ammo though. Oh, this thing is definitely falling down at some point. Okay, we're back here. Hey, how are you doing? Do need to look that look at that again. Okay, we can do this. This is like totally doable. The plant people are. Not exactly the scariest of Resident Evil creatures, but they are still rather bizarre and they definitely are trouble. Let's bring the acid round. Why not? Why would, we, why would we ever leave that behind in the first place? We have a lot of blue herbs that we never used. Okay. So what can we leave behind? The dispersal cartridge. I sub no, I don't think that I think that's going to uh, I'm gonna leave the flashbang and the keep one knife. The rest of it I don't think I can leave behind anymore. I'm just getting really cautious with all the things that might happen. Maybe we can leave the gunpowder because it's not really doing anything and we may only be able to take the absolute necessity yet. There we go. That's the best I can do. Because there are still a lot of places to explore so we're liable to need a hell of a lot of space. I do think we have one other major door that still needs exploring. Are you coming down? You know you're coming down. You're not just here, just you're not just hanging here. Okay. Let's get going. So I think we can grab the red herb this time. He's down. Let's step over his dead body. Uh, hang on a minute. I think I gotta... I gotta take a picture with, with my phone. If you indulge me. I mean, I don't think I can just uh, remember the shape. Oh, great. It's blocking me. Hey, do you like this? Okay. That didn't kill it. I hope he was at least annoyed by it. Damn it. So I I think we gotta It's over here. Well, there's the planet 43 that we eventually have to deal with. I think we eventually have to The bubbles on his chest is like I want to pop them. Not the ammo though. Right. Uh, I'm gonna ch check the image on my phone. Right here, definitely will not be able to remember by myself.
Right. So any of you guys still alive? I hope not. You still got the thing pumping, so just in case. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that, that one is definitely still alive, so I'm just gonna head out of here. With almost a, no ammo to protect me. This is fine. Hello, anybody home? The uh, server room. It's out of power. I guess we have to restore power. This is always good to have. Oh, look at these guys. Okay, we just took a trophy. I mean, I guess that's something to be proud of, but why are we taking a trophy? To trophy the shape of a DNA helix. Unless there's something... Ah. Right. You know what? How about... How about I take another picture with my phone and... Can we just discard this right now? I mean, we don't need to carry it, do we? Not if I, I already remember the image. Don't have this thing. Oh, I could I could use a drink, but not from here, not from this one. Okay, these dead bodies are not going to be dead bodies for long. Hey, just combine with this. This place is big. I knew it. I freaking predicted that. What? I'm sorry, I just... Did it just give me another one? No, 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 no. This is not happening. Jill, is the ammo ready? Oh my god! Are you kidding? I, I missed that one. I missed the electric shot. This is so bad. This is horrible. But luckily we got... We just got... We just got the herb. So we might as well use it. Oh, by the way. Give me back my knife. This door is locked. And I have like no ammo. I can I can use the acid rounds. I still have those. That's such a waste though. Okay. We're gonna have to be tactical about this. I will not be I will not be wasting more ammo on this guy. I mean I, if I have find more handgun ammo, sure, but not what I got. So I'm gonna double around him. I if I can get into one of these doors, I don't think these are this if if it's one of those sliding doors, I don't think you can get in. I don't think you can you can bang yourself in this kind of doors. Oh, but this one, sure, he's gonna get in. This facility is like designed to be against me. Exit. Oh, then exit would be would be great. What the heck? Nope. Sorry, I just don't want to bother with you. Just a common zombie. I'm hunt. Oh sh shit! What is this place? I mean, I know what this place is, but what the heck? Give me some, give me some ammo, please. 
Uh, that's gunpowder. Where? I don't know where. Somebody's note. Well, whose note are we? Everybody's turned vegified. They keep coming back again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body is black as ash. There's no other way. Well, that would have been nice to know a little earlier. Come on, give me some ammo. Thank you. This is very timely. Oh! What the hell is up with you? I think it's the fact that she's a freaking zombie, Claire. That's what's up with her. At least that blew her head open. Hey, sing signal modulator. I think we've been missing this thing for a while now. Shit. Welcome to the party. Maybe if there's any positive to positivity to my very dire situation right now, it's it's forcing me to take better shots. Oh, look at this. We're back here. And what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? How about that gunpowder? Okay, we gotta start making the uh, shooting these AC rounds. We got a whole lot of them. More than probably should. It's probably not the best idea to combine them. Now that I think about it. Uh, in this way, we still have this tool. I really don't know if we're ever going to be using it anymore. Okay, back on the road. Now, what do we need? Senior stuff, PC. I really would like to trade some of these. I really would like to trade some of these acid runs to flame runs just because we're dealing with freaking plant people. Which sounds absolutely ridiculous. Oh, by the way. Why, why, what am I still doing with the, the freaking trophy? Yeah, wait. Get rid of it. Unless we can use the trophy as a weapon, which really when you think about it, you should be able to do that, but I don't think so. can get through this place anymore. Oh, that was ridiculous. But hey. Uh, let me check the photo on my phone right now. My phone is like really slow. It's actually takes a while to just draw up a picture. I need a new phone. I like I need a new phone last year. I don't know, I'm just not the type of person that uses cell phones a lot, not even, no matter how smart they are. Does that make me sound old? There we go. Error? Really? Oh, I see. There are two types of uh, vertical lines. 
Seriously, you expect me to remember this by heart? You're crazy. You're tripping. I just, I, I just released something. What did I release exactly? Let's see. Uh, oh, I think it released the machine. I can use the machine now. I don't like to hear this sound. Okay, this machine is usable now. We're gonna put the dispenser in here. Manual mode engaged. Adjust right. amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. Okay, so we're the goal here is to match the well the ooze in the left tube for it to match the red ring that red indicator here. And that is not exactly going to be easy. Yeah, this this is going to take a while, guys. So I think theoretically, if you combine the two tubes, uh, the middle tube and the right tube, it should get to the point where you want it. Hmm, but how? <laughs> That's it. It's actually pretty simple. Okay, we got a solution. But according to the document, that having a solution is not enough. You gotta also cool it. Which uh, may be more of a problem. Oh my god. Uh, this is a problem. That was the last flame round. I can of course also use the AC round, but I don't think it's going to be exactly the same with these guys. And the previous note did say you gotta burn them to ash. That's the only way to permanently deal with this problem so our prospect is not looking very good here power is still not restored oh I think there were there were Mr. Zombies here Right. Maybe we could. Maybe we don't have to disturb him. Nah, I'm. I'm gonna have to disturb him. Fucking hell! What the heck? Come on, turn around. Ah, as if that helps me. Now that's just awesome, I wasted all the ammo again. Mm. 
Do I gotta waste it? Okay, I might have to. I do think that's going to permanently deal with him though. That's the bright side of all this. What is going on? Oh, you gotta, you gotta puzzle with it first. Okay, we th that thing said the Murph, which is the last one. Let's see if we can get this right. Like, isn't this exactly right already? What do I need to do? Maybe it... Maybe that's it. Okay! Alright! We're good. Power's restored. Can we go into that room now? The server room, I remember. Yes, we can. Hello? Can you just give me some ammo like straight up? Thank heavens, I need this. Oh, and uh, this is also just a low-key a safe room. That's very nice. And uh, another knife. I'd like another knife, but this just I'm carrying too much stuff. <laughs> I'm carrying a thousand guns, but none of them has any ammo. I'm sorry, Claire. <laughs> you, I made you look quite ridiculous. Oh, but maybe we can also go into the other door now. Uh, wow, I made a, I made a mess here. Look at that. So, where's the light switch? I mean, I did restore the power. Can we just turn on the light for freak's sake? We don't have to wander in the dark. I know that's good for atmosphere, but we don't have to. That guy. That fucking guy. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You I'm have five new messages. Dr. Lee is napping. Okay, Wayne Lee's inbox. Let's check it out. Sender uh, sent from Rick Mendoza. What's he up to? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Cool your jazz, asshole. Well, I guess he is the boss. For now, anyway. Have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. Oh, I got it. Uh, this is from Byron Cartwright. Busy guy, huh? So you couldn't make our little meeting? Fine, don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next and get it done tonight. Wow, what an asshole. Like, f budget, budgeting for a whole year and get it done tonight. So you, you gotta... I guess Wayne Lee, poor, poor Wayne, he's, he, he gotta do this overnight. I mean, that's... Not exactly the kind of work you do in one freaking night. And the year after next, so it's probably not even necessary. At least it's not necessary to be this urgent. Just a pure dick move. 
from Rick again. Are you alive? We are under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. What is the bastard Cartwright hiding? Rick again. Please reply. Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us. Please reply. Rick says, Do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. I still have to give you back those comics the games I borrowed, but you might have to wait a while. Oh, the last one's kind of heartbreaking. Because even he knows that nobody's really reading them. Are you getting up or not? I'm getting impatient. You know, maybe this is just one of those guys the game puts here to fuck with you, because they expect you to, to think he's going to get back up, but actually he's not. I remember... Uh, a few guys like that in the police station. Okay, this room is like freezing and Claire isn't wearing anything. Should have packed my parka. Yeah, you, you should have worn your jacket. That jacket is probably not doing any good for Sherry. And you, what's your deal? And we did need to cool the solution we got so let's put it in here cool. yay technology previously I was like talking about the thing I never finished my thought uh, the thing, uh, f the thing from another world, the fifties movie, that was actually you probably know that movie Holy from complete. being the movie that there was play being played on TV in the original Halloween. Oh shit! Even more acid rounds. Uh, we're done with this room, thankfully. And you have to, I you have to wonder, like I I think the th John Carpenter's classic The Thing, one of the most uh, uh, iconic science science fiction horror movies, that came out I think in 1982, if I remember correctly, and Halloween was you know another John Carpenter classic that came out in eighty uh, in seventy eight, so John Car Carpenter put The Thing from Another World. Which is a predecessor of his next movie. I don't know if it's his immediate next, by the way. I just well, let's just say his next big project. And he put the predecessor of that movie uh, on TV. I don't know to raise awareness for the brand. I don't know if he even thought that far. But it's just interesting. People, movies weren't the mode of movie making in late 70s early 80s is not exactly the same thing as it is today so I, I just I wonder if the if it was ever intentional if he start, had already started working on a thing when he was filming Halloween and he was like why not did that do anything I got, I had. Oh no. <sighs> I really didn't want, don't want to do this. Oh my god. That did it. Okay, you know what? The AC run really sucks. I've I've decided that AC run is really no good. But it's all I got. Yeah. Would you fucking die already? 
You know what? Can I still equip the knife as a, like a regular weapon? No. I'm just gonna try to ignore that guy. I don't know. Oh, wait. I thought I had to complete this puzzle. But it seems I don't have to. Well, that makes it easier. That guy has like no arms, no legs, no nothing. And he's still trying to bother with me. You gotta say, th these guys are tenacious. They're showing true umbrella spirit. They deserve some like, compensation for that. Okay, it's time to actually kill this plant. Switch to... We're really using, uh, using up every single last of firepower that we ever have. And it's time to do the work. We have this Bursal Cartridge herbicide, and it's frozen. Dispensing oh. solution now. I think killing Plant 42 was way easier. So much for the weed infestation. Yeah. Warning. <laughs> You have dispersed a dangerous solution without... Oh, by the way, did that ki also kill all Your the plant people? No, it did not. And you may be subject to disciplinary... It should have. It's saying... That thing is still alive. Everything is still alive. Shit. Let's get the chip. Uh, wait. Let's combine it with a wristband. Still can't go this way. Jesus. I'm trying to get both of them in one go. I think it's kind of working. Yes, they are burning. They, all of them are burning. Except that guy. That guy is still getting up. This is... Unbelievable. I don't think I'll be coming back here, so uh, at least there's that. I'm not coming back here. What the heck? There was no freaking plant people the last time I was here. Uh, another movie trivia that I just thought of, you know, I, I, in my mind it goes goes through all of the movie trivias on a like rotational basis. Both the thing and the Halloween are like <clears throat> John Carpenter franchises, aren't they? I mean, John Carpenter didn't isn't the originator of the thing. I think it was a novel by I can't tell you, or maybe a novella. But uh, let's just. We can agree that uh, John Carpenter's The Thing is the most prominent uh, represent re representation of this brand. And Halloween is definitely his baby. And both of these uh, franchises had follow-ups that share a very weird, let's just say, quirk. And... In 2011, there was another The Thing movie. It was a prequel to the classic The Thing. I gotta be able to, to think. Think where am I? Where the hell am I going? Huh. Okay, I have level three clearance now. I should be able to. 
Do I still need to use this? I guess I do. I guess I can go to west wing, west area now, and that's where I'm actually going. I mean, I, as I was saying, the 2011 The Thing movie was a prequel to the, the John Carpenter classic, and it's, for some reason they decided to name it The Thing again, like exactly the same name, which to me is just straight up bizarre. And it, gotta find that antiviral agent soon. We will. But I never really understood the logic of naming the movie the same name as its predecessor. I mean, it's not a reboot, but you would think it's you would be forgiven to think it's a reboot just be because of the naming. Video cassette, okay. And another grenade. And I, I was never a fan of that decision, but you know, that doesn't exactly bother me too much. I've never really considered the, the title of a movie to be extremely important. I, I straight up don't think they're actually part of the movie. I think mo titles are more like part of the marketing. This is one is OSS. But I don't understand why they uh, th they had to make make it so hard for them to market the thing. I mean, the thing shouldn't be that hard to market. There we go. And yeah, that movie was not... It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't anything special. And I'm gonna finish that thought once we play this VHR. Oh, this is the same as the transcript we read earlier. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! Snafu. We had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move. So I guess that was a bigger snafu than they originally thought. William Birkin's inbox, let's read this, sent from uh, Jane Doyle, suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and the laboratory director, William Birkin, has been removed from his post. Sent from B.E. B.E. Who's, who, who's that supposed to be? Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. Huh. So this is from Outside Umbrella. Sent from Richard Kessler. Congratulations. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let it slide. Anyway, send over the data, will you? And don't worry, you've done good work on G, and we can take care of the rest. Sent from Jane Doyle again, notice of admonishment. You're under suspicion of breaching your contact with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. So, it looks like... Uh, we, we don't need to be carrying on the VHS anymore. 
How I wish I can just find some magic ammo in this place. By the way, we are out of a knife again. <laughs> To finish the movie trivia, this has been cut into so so many little pieces. I doubt anyone's actually following, following me right now. Uh, in 2018, uh, the was it 2018? Like movies of late has been a bit of a blur. But yes, tw I I believe 2018 they released uh, another Halloween movie, which I really freaking liked. Uh, that was to, to be the direct follow-up of uh, John Carpenter's original Halloween. And I'm sure a lot of you saw that. They are going, there's, they're actually going to make at least two more movies to follow this one up. And I hope they are, I hope they're gonna be good. Because I, I really freaking like the Halloween franchise. But the, the odd thing is... The new Halloween movie is also called Halloween. And you would think, you'd be forgiven to think, judging by the title, that it's a remake, but it's not. It's a sequel. Just like the... Where are they? What the hell am I going? Just like the thing 2011 was a prequel, not a remake. And I, I just have to wonder, is this something that they deliberately do with John Carpenter's movies? Because I don't believe the... Th these uh, the thing the ladies the thing and the Halloween movies were made by the same group of persons. I don't think they were even made by the same company. I can't be sure of that. I need to look that up. Hang on a minute. What the heck? Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, so that was another one. I, I thought I was going the wrong way. And yeah, all of that, all of that build up, all of that pausing and continuing all leads up to this pretty boring trivia. It's probably not actually worth your time, but just thought it was interesting. It is a bit of a mess though, considering that it's the, like the third movie, it's just the titled Halloween. Because we also got a 2007 Rob Zombie, that was a remake. So I guess it, it could be forgiven that that one's called Halloween. But the, uh, why? I just don't know why. Why would it do this? I mean, it, it, just give it a subtitle. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Research diary. In Briar growth observation subject four four nine. After the gene Briar was implanted in the subject, we made a fifty centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between fifteen lucid to GCS ten. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and a further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Then we got subject 501. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted within prior. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. Wow. <laughs> don't be don't don't ever sign up to be umbrella's test subjects. Uh T virus resistance experimentation. What was the other one? Breeding rate observation in priory. Okay. Subject six two eight six three nine. We admi we administer the G virus to subject the six two eight, which had shown slight resistance to the T virus. The virus was then introduced to subject six three nine, with whom six two eight had a close relationship. 6 to 8 showed some signs of resistance but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G virus. Okay. So they were researching on G. William Birkin was the head researcher on this. Mm, I guess they. Oh my god, how many of these do I really need? I guess I should pay more attention to exactly what I'm combining. <laughs> I just don't want to bother. Oh boy.
guess we can take out we can take out some herbs that doesn't hurt That's lucky. Hell yeah. Got it. Oh Damn, God. Jill. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. Are we gonna get that? Do, do you want to do, do you intend to get the back the necklace thing? I mean, Sherry kind of likes it. I think that's from her mother. Like, can, we, can we grab it? Just come on. It's right there. Okay. Your ass again. William. This ends now. Well, my condolences. She is my creation. Yeah. <gasps> oh. 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 William. I should have killed him while I had the chance. I don't know why, I just couldn't do it. He was your husband. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. What about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone while Rackham City burned to hell? I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with the G virus in it. So that's no excuse. <laughs> Talk about domestic abuse. I got this. Sorry. Yeah, he's not even flinching anymore. Actually, this is a terrible idea. We don't have a lot of ammo. All we have are a lot of acid runs, and and that just proved that they don't actually work. It's a few more. Oh, let's uh, grab whatever we can. What the hell? What did I just get? What is this? Needle cartridges. Oh, for the. Well, I doubt that's going to help me a bunch. Right in the eye. 
You know what Annette was saying? Wait. I don't need. When Annette was uh, saying earlier that only she can stop William. I thought she was referring to some scientific shit. I thought she was referring to like her capacity as, as a... Can we just load this please? <sighs> this is annoying. Oh! Oh! What the heck? I can't see what's going on. I mean, Annette was like almost giving up the do the life of her daughter, so she can be the only person to stop William. I just really thought it's because you know they developed the G virus together. She would have an actual expertise on that matter, and if, if all she was going planning to do was like. The to shoot him with an AC round, then she doesn't have to be the one to do it. I, hell, I could have do it. Hell, I'm doing it. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I know it's not really killing him, but... AC on the eye? And an eye that looks like that? That... That's not comfortable. Ah, oh, come on. I really don't have a lot left. Uh, I don't have any ammo for it. This is not going well! Hey, grenade! Like, that's going to do anything to him. Okay, I'm out of acid. What is... Oh, this is for the other type of handgun that I don't have with me. Now that's just ironic. Get out of here. Okay. Oh! Run faster, Claire, and run faster. really mad at me for some reason. Oh man. Well we did just pick up this. Use it. Okay. Excuse me, coming, going, coming through. I don't even have it. <laughs> what the hell was was I supposed to do with that? Can't 
get hit again. Where is my shooting? Uh, I can still get some ammo from this place. Whoa! That was close. I'll give him that. Excuse me. They won't, they just won't bust. Man. This puny handgun is just not strong enough to carry me through this. Oh wow! Maybe it can. Okay. Okay, that was Target has been neutralized. That was seriously not cool. In quarantine. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. How do I get out of here? Elevator's over there. Service lift is now operational. Wow, that exhausted everything from me. Gotta get back to Sherry. Uh, oh, it's in the next room. I really need to manage my shit. So, I guess this thing is not necessary anymore. It's kind of weird. I didn't ex I mean, if it's not usable anymore, then I would expect it to ha have a little red tick here. Let's just get whatever we have. Uh, take out another knife. I don't know. Are we actually going to be fighting more enemies at this point? Okay, this is all that we have. Just need to get back to Sherry and the Sherry's is... Sherry should be this way. Oh yeah, we're still not level 4. Wait, this is not it. Uh, where the hell is Sherry again? I think she's here. He looks better. I knew you'd make it. My mom needs help. Annette? She, 
Sherry. Or how are you? Okay. But you don't look so good. Mommy? Hey, look at the screen. Oh, thank God. So Sherry's gonna be all right? She'll be weak for a little while, but... Yes. She's free of the G-Virus. Did you hear that? What is it? We can't just leave her here. You're right, we can't. Attention, unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. What does that mean? It's a self destruct code. In case the G virus leaves the building. Okay, upgrading to level four. Sure. <laughs> you walk faster. Yeah. I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. So, well, Annette really did love her daughter in the end, even though she has, she hasn't exactly been behaving as such during during this game. Can we just agree to never ever work in a company that has a self-destruct code? It's a good thing we are very close to the elevator. It's a good thing there is an elevator. Wow. That looks awesome. Claire? Yeah? Thank you for being so nice to me. For helping me. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. So, uh, what's on the program? Okay, we, we can save. And it's still giving us the chance to to, to manage our items, so we, we still got... It's not over yet. Anything we can do? 
Well, I guess at this point, take out all the herbs. Yeah, that's probably enough for now. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, what do we have? Are, are we seriously going to be taking this right now? Can we still get, like, poisoned? What, by the plant people? Yeah, I, I'm actually just gonna run, so... I hope she's following. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know where I was going. Oh, she was following. She's fine. <laughs> I completely ignored her safety. But hey, you know what? There, there, there's a countdown. and I don't do well under countdowns. I get distressed and when I'm distressed, I like... It's just every man for himself. Of course. Stupid thing's locked. Hold on! Sherry, what are you... I think I can open it from the other side. Yes, Sherry, go! Save my ass! Oh, that's and just... It, Okay, that's good news. Ah, uh, another one. <laughs> well, you know what? Take, you can have them. Oh, that thing is blowing. Anything I missed? You know what? Who cares? Wow, everything is blowing you up. Get in there? I'm right behind you. Atta girl. Yep. I think we're almost out of here. Hang on a minute. Worth a try. Uh what else do we have? You know what? I think I'll take this out even though we don't have any ammo, we might be able to get some. Oh, hell to the yeah. Oh, but we don't have any space left. Um, something needs to go in, go in there. We need to find a big ass battery of some sort. Oh, there it is, but... You know what? <laughs> I should not have taken out the grenade launcher. That this is going to cost us at least like half a minute, and I I really don't know if we have half a minute to spare. That should be enough. right here okay okay I promise I won't move good be careful always It's 
working. Claire! What? Hey, babe. Leon? You're down here too? Yeah. But the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out. Fast. I know. I found a way out. I think... I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon. Leon. Damn. Okay. I guess this is the end. Well, it would be, but the game didn't give us an M1 minigun for nothing. Okay, Sherry, I'm gonna have to kill your dad right in front of you. So try not be try not to be uh, too traumatized. Oh my god. Stalker alert! It's oddly satisfying to be popping those eyes. I'm gonna be straight with you guys. It's oddly satisfying. What the heck? No, he's not gonna. Oh my god! How am I still alive? Okay. Don't have a, a lot of time left. William, can you just die? Dude. Oh my god, he's not going for the train this time. Oh, we're still at caution. Where is freaking up? Oh, he's still going. Where is he?
first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. Sigh. Take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? Not bad. Oh, yeah. Claire! Leon! It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? <sighs> you did. So was he like on the train watching us fight Willem for the last time and wasn't coming out to help? Okay, that was it. That was Resident Evil 2, the Claire A scenario. What a fucking blast. Oh, it's still... It's it's just as fun and amazing as I remember and I, really, I had a really good time playing this. But... The battle is not over. We have only covered half uh, of the whole. So, tune in next time where we continue Resident Evil 2 with the Leon B. And I, I, I'm uh, anticipating the Leon B will be faster than faster than Claire A. At least that's how I did it. Just, just because I just finished this one, I'm immediately going to the next scenario. And I'm going to have some experience and uh, I would be able to just to get most for the most part get straight to the target and just to get things done. And well except for you know with it being a different scenario some of the plot is going to be different and we're going to see as you can see the voice and uh, and the cast list where there, there are characters that are strictly in the Leon's campaign that you have not seen here yet in the Claire in the Claire scenario alone. Oh, well, bottom line, this game rocks. I freaking loved it. I actually think uh, Resident Evil 2 remake may be the best Resident Evil game ever made. Now, not everybody's going to agree with me on that, but I also know I'm not alone in that opinion. Uh, Resident Evil 3 Remake has come out. I have not played it yet. I'm still waiting to play this on the channel. I will be doing that immediately after I finish Leon B, so it's not very far off. I have heard mixed opinions on it. Now, by mixed opinion, that's only compared to like two remake because th this one is like overwhelmingly positive, and I think a lot of uh, complaint I've heard about three is that it's too short. Okay cut out a few places from the original Resident Evil 3. Now I don't anticipate to have too much of a problem of that just, just because I've never really played the RE3 original. Therefore I'm not ex exactly going to know what's missing. But that's just me and I totally understand if you're a fan of the original and there's this sequence that you really like but you're not seeing it in the remake. And because these remakes are kind of Replacing the original as the most definitive version of, of these games, that's going to be frustrating. I totally get that. And I would too if I were a fan of the OG. And I totally respect the, the original Resident Evil Legacy. Um, I, I, but I think, I think, I, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with RE3. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. RE2 is only half finished by our standard. And we'll be doing that... Uh, in the next episode so look forward to that thank you so much for watching thank you so much for just you you pretty much go coming on this journey with me and I have I already have, I always have a hard time thinking of how to say goodbye properly but basically have a nice day have a great day actually have a wonderful day Everybody's probably st stuck at home, but you know what? We got great games like Resident Evil 2, and uh, st uh, by most people's standards, still a great game like Resident Evil 3. So it's not the worst possible scenario. Take care, guys. <laughs>